Grego's here, Vantel's Restorations. How you going? This is uh, another project, one of many on the go, but um, we like to keep busy and we like challenges and you know sometimes it's a bit of a juggling act but yeah this is um, this is what we do so uh, what do we got here 68 bus so um, yeah low light the very first of the bay windows uh, his name is Daisy so Daisy's a pretty cool bus a lot of character She's all been uh, stripped out here. You can see that the uh, interior needs a bit of work. Gonna go with a, a fresh interior. Old school fridge panel on the side there. Gonna get rid of all that stuff. Uh, yeah, do a few subtle changes on it. But yeah, one thing you'll notice is this pop top. It's a bit of an odd one and uh, she's sort of a little bit round at the front but towards the back it's bow what are you doing where you been hey don't go too far right eh? good boy yeah but it's got this weird square look and it covers the roof but um inside is oh damn i locked that where's the keys I got the keys here somewhere. So try that. Just needed a little bit of help. So yeah, this is uh, the owner has stripped out all the camper stuff inside. I think he's going to keep that overhead covered there. But um, you can see that the actual standing area is quite small. It's, um, yeah, it's only, you know, barely a metre across here. And the rest is sort of, yeah, it's weird that the pop top takes up the whole roof there. And I guess that gives you a storage area if you lift it up. So, um, but yeah, this has got some weird converted bus seats yeah so that's uh sitting on a frame on this board but yeah all that's getting removed we're getting um another custom combi uh full width maybe maybe um rock and roll bed because they're the best ones so yeah we're getting rid of some of this 240 volt because it's like crazy overkill bloody power points everywhere so yes and it's interesting like We've got a couple of 69s in the family, like it's my 69 dual cab, work in progress, my bloody, my beast. But um, yeah, little little differences between the 68 and the 69, notably door handles is definitely, they're like splitty style with the push button. Bye. Oh, good boy. Good boy, yes you are. Yeah, so um, the biggest difference is, is that's like noticeable from the outside is the push button handles. Um, but everything else visually is like the 69. And also, I only noticed it, didn't know that about the 68s, but yeah, there's no, it's more like a splitty where they've um, got the no divider panel behind the uh, motor between the motor and the fuel tank so so yeah this has had a little bit of mechanical work got dual battery set up looks like they've done their own bit of panel bead in there so put a larger battery um yeah it's still all pretty original 1600 twin port but we're talking about um popping the motor out um get it freshened up like because it's going for the full resto um yeah getting it freshened up and putting maybe taking it to a 1776 which is a great size for a tight one not too big just that little bit extra torque for the hills um and even running the 34 picked carb on the um 1776 it's like my daughter's bus it's a nice combo so it's just 
smooth, reliable, and quite cheap. So this has had an upgrade, I think, to um, disc brakes. So it's still got the a wide five disc brake kit. So yeah, the wide fives were there up until about 70. Um, I've converted my 69, oh, both of my, even the um, my daughter's uh, bus. It's, um, yeah, uh, we've got 15 inch Merc rims on there because we've updated all the brakes to later model. But this is, uh, this is keeping the original. So, um, so that's really cool. And um, yeah, well, I just thought we'd, I'd sh run around with you, showing you the standard rust. You got rust down your seam there. The owners put a bit of stuff on it to slow it down. Uh, this is why we recommend getting rid of these and putting sliders in or fixed windows because they're, they're just a magnet for rust, these pop outs. Uh, yeah, there'll be the seal repairs there. Standard across there. Um, definitely see some rust forming underneath. There's a be a support bar behind there. I can guarantee that looks like it's possibly even touched up. I'm not sure, but um, yeah. So there'll be a rust along the bottom of that door where they all go. I uh, haven't really looked too hard at the bottom. A lot of them go there. Like this has been repainted before, so they, they generally rust a bit down the side. And you've got to check these pillars under the windscreen and that. You can see a few bit of bubble on there. So yeah, so this is um, Daisy. Some of it looks quite good. Sliding door doesn't look too bad. Um, but yeah, that panel down there is pretty much standard. Sorry if it's a bit uh, a bit windy. This is another low light dual cab that I bloody bought back from uh, Newcastle. So yeah, um, you know, you can't just let them go to the scrap. So I picked it up very cheap, which is a good thing because it was very, it's very rusty. So, but anyway, we can fix rust here slowly but steadily. So um, the owner's looking at different options for carrying the spare because the spare is actually um, could be preventing the car from going into an undercover spot parking so uh, we might um, ditch that although it's sort of a low profile roof rack it still sits up higher than the pop top so we're looking at possibly a, a bull bar for the front that can possibly maybe you know remove so you don't need to have the uh, spare driving around town so much it's just more for trips so and this one has been on many uh many a long trip in the past and uh he hopes to do that in the future but as you can tell everything was all the seals are dried out and everything was leaking and yeah so we've got to put a stop to all that and make it light new again so that's daisy and um yeah you just follow the follow the project we're going to get it stripped down and it's going to be blasted it's getting the full treatment so that's what we're doing Alrighty, it's it's speed up central here in the backyard but um yeah we're go slowly getting through the work a lot of those uh our own projects you know like my uh combi camper trailer there it's a back third of a combi and modified but um andrew's gear rat gear but yeah, and a few customers' cars and whatever. But yeah, we're just getting through them. So uh, we will uh, talk to you later, I guess. See ya.